uh, and focus on talking at the same time. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started, folks. So thank you all for coming on by for the second general body meeting of the semester. Woo! Um, this is going to be much more normal. Um, oh, never mind. Um, this one's going to be much more normal in terms of there's not going to be a ton of like club information per se in terms of like how we operate and things like that, because hypothetically, uh, you should know that or you can go back and watch the recording on YouTube from the last general body meeting. Uh, so this time around, we're just going to kind of provide a lot of what uh, is coming on in terms of upcoming events. Uh, as well as just kind of like general reminders and voting members and stuff, just because I know that sometimes that can get confusing. And so, uh, you know, we, we try to have these meetings uh, just to remind you all of those sorts of requirements to keep those sorts of things in the back of your head uh, overall. I didn't actually include a slide for other leadership opportunities this time around, but of course, if you are interested, whether that be in running events and social media, something of that nature, feel free to reach out to anyone on eBoard and we can get you directed in the right place if you're not talking to the right person already. A lot of that information you can find in the welcome channel in the Discord server. Um, so with all that other way, I think that's about it of uh, general introduction, but I do wanted to spend a moment uh, to talk a little bit about some metrics. Can this go away? Thank you. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about some of the metrics that we have because personally, uh, I am very impressed with you all uh, and the numbers that you all are coming to our events with. Um, so net gain, the, like just a couple of by the numbers things. I'm a stats miner. I'm a numbers guy. I used to be in STEM. I'm not in STEM anymore, uh, but that's just the way it is. Uh, net gain of 557 Discord users. So that includes like people that have left, people that have joined uh, and are still here uh, and things like that. Um, in the last month and a half that we've uh, been able to kind of track that. 117 and counting Buckeye Leagues registrants. Uh, this is gonna be the final push for a lot of Buckeye League stuff. So of course, you're gonna hear that uh, a little bit later as well. But there are already 117 of you. I think Valorant is actually probably the most popular one maybe, which surprises me because we had to cancel that uh, a year ago at this time. Um, 87 attendees at our last general body meeting. That's right, there were 87 of you that uh, filled out the attendance form uh, last time around, whether that was because you were live in the audience, whether because you were at home on Zoom or uh, watching the recording. Hi, YouTube. Uh, of course, if you miss one of these as a reminder, uh, you know, obviously, you can either attend it live on Zoom or we try to post the recordings on YouTube. Probably try to get those up as soon as possible, uh, but the, the recording is going to be up there forever, hypothetically. So if in a few years you really want to go back and watch me ramble on about whatever we were doing at the time, you can do that. But also uh, the attendance form is going to stay open for about a week after the fact. Um, so you'll be able to kind of catch up on everything uh, that way. So we're 87 of you. 83 participants in the new Find Your Duo program led by Allison. I don't think any one of us were ex expecting that to be uh, that popular. Uh, so hopefully you all have been able to uh, get in contact with your duo partners uh, and be able to play some games or casually talk or whatever, have another friend on campus here. Uh, 67 Smashers at our first union tournament of the year. Uh, of course, that was actually before the last general body meeting, but I still thought it would be nice to include here. Uh, and then 16 different competitive teams under 13 games with more on the way. And that's not even including the premier rosters as well. So uh, a lot of you all are coming on back uh, and getting involved with the club. We really appreciate uh, your you know, willingness to come on in uh, and do things. Um, so just wanted to kind of give you by the numbers there. Again, like this is the part where I'd say round of applause. Um, and you all are welcome to give a round of applause live in the audience or like do the applause and chat or whatever, uh, because you all are doing a very good job of uh, keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, I thought that was interesting uh, to share. No, no, that was not sarcasm. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, you were going to sarcastic clap. Okay, so you're going to take my line. Great. Um, in any event, uh, you know, we hope to keep that momentum going. Uh, and we hope that you can kind of uh, continue finding a home uh, here with something we do at the Buckeye Gaming Collective. All right. Uh, unfortunately, Dana is currently working a double shift over at Lincoln, uh, so he cannot make it today. So instead of him talking about some of the team updates, we're going to have Noah, our treasurer, come up and do that. Not Dana here. So as far as team updates go, two weeks ago, 
two weekends ago, we had Hue Fest, where we sent two of the premier teams, the Overwatch team and the League of Legends team over to Harrisburg University. And for the first land back at, uh, you know, in-person events. And the Overwatch team, they finished tied for ninth. They went 0-2 in their groups after losing in a close match to Harrisburg, the home team. Uh, the Premier team is currently 2-1 and one in a Star League varsity, whereas the League of Legends team at QFest also tied for ninth, going 1-2. and two. They got double eliminated by Winthrop. And the Premier team for League of Legends is also currently 1-0 and in a Star League. And in Rocket League news, today is Masseter's birthday. Give it up for Masseter. Love our OSU beans. And the CRL qualifier tournaments are actually happening this weekend and the next weekend. So uh, keep looking out for those broadcasts. The As far as CSGO is concerned, we're currently 0-3 in the Star League varsity. I don't know much about that. You could ask Dana or the CSGO guys. Hoping to get some wins though. But there are also many other rosters that are uh, finishing up trial periods or, uh, you know, hosting those within the next few weeks. So keep up to date with that and best of luck if any of you are in the audience or on Zoom with us and good luck. That's all for me though. And Will's gonna kill it on this slide about voting. Will's members. gonna kill it. I wanted to chime in just for a real brief second um, of, because of course I do, you know, I, I like to talk. I like hearing myself talk. Um, I just want to say that like, I'm personally proud of like our Overwatch and uh, League of Legends teams that did attend QFest. Uh, it's a very competitive field over there in Pennsylvania. And, you know, we were kind of coming in with a disadvantage position just because, you know, their rosters hadn't been completely finalized uh, even like two weeks before that tournament. Uh, so they actually played, I think, extremely well, uh, you know, for uh, for all the circumstances that were going on there for the field that they were in. Um, so I just wanted to kind of reiterate that uh, and give props to them again for the work that they put in there. All right. Uh, Will now you can take it away. All righty. It's that time again. Voting members. You've heard it once. You've heard it a thousand times. But here we go again. So uh, for those of you who don't know, voting members are people who show dedication to the club, passion, towards our missions and goals. Um, I was a voting member, that's why I'm here. Because if you're a voting member, you can run for e-board and vote in the e-board elections, which you should do if you care about club. Uh, other, what the requirements are, you have to attend at least half of our general body meetings this year. I believe normally there's seven of them. Um, in theory, you can get an excused absence, but there's really no reason you ought to do that when you could just either watch it on Zoom, watch it here, or watch the VOD, and I believe yeah, attendance will stay open on the YouTube video or wherever we post that. So you should really just get the attendance no matter what. Um, other ways, be an active part of the club in some capacity. So obviously you're part of the e-board, you're probably a voting member, but minor board people, committees, or if you're on a team, those are all great ways you can get that requirement. And then, you know, this is also something that normally has an asterisk with it, be a part of the fundraising event uh, for the club. We'll see how that pans out this year. Normally that gets waived, but you know, pending differences, we'll see what happens. So important takeaways from this, if you want to have a say in what the, our club is doing, what direction we're taking, be a part of making decisions, you have to play an active role, helping us reach our goals. And by being here, you're doing that. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, and, you know, all this is annoying, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we have to have some way to take the 2700 discord server members and make it into a manageable number that can vote in elections uh so thank you all for uh handling all of that again if you have any questions let us know of course i'll be the one running elections this is actually i think the first elections that i'm going to completely run um because i've been running for the rest of them um so that's the way it is um yeah cool um, anyway, now on to a handful of upcoming events. I get to talk about the first one and then Caleb gets to talk about the rest of them. Buckeye Leagues are here, folks. Uh, the entire point of the registration deadline and the timing of the league was for this general body meeting so that we could give you one final reminder uh, to sign up for Buckeye Leagues. That registration for all three leagues ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. Uh, so, you know, don't wait. Uh, if you wanna start the, the registration process, go ahead and type in those registration channels. 
uh, once you give yourselves the uh, Buckeye League's roles uh, for the variety of games, you can do that by going to bot commands, typing uh, dot join, and then the appropriate league uh, to get yourself the role uh, and more information in terms of all of that. Also, other thing to note, if you are interested uh, in trying your voice at casting, uh, we try to run broadcasts for these leagues on a weekly basis. Uh, and if you would like to cast these leagues, feel free uh, if you want to take a moment to fill out that QR code right there. Of course, you'll be able to uh, you know, take a look at this uh, later as well on the recording. So if you miss it now or you change your mind, that'll still be there. Um, but at the very bare minimum, either send myself or uh, Deepesh, our new uh, broadcast uh, management chair, um, just saying, hey, you know, I want to cast. Uh, for what it's worth, uh, you cannot cast for the league that you are playing in for the sole reason that you're going to be playing when, when the broadcast is happening. Uh, so that makes it a little bit difficult to be in two places at once. Um, but any of these games in your there are likely opportunities yes. outside of Buckeye Rock. So, also true. So please reach out to us. Um, Alex, our primary producer, uh, just made the comment that if you are at all interested in casting, even if you are uh, in the leagues, feel free to also let us know uh, and just you know keep that in mind. Uh, like I said at the bottom there, no experience necessary. Hey, look, you don't need to like be super experienced in this sort of a thing. You can try it out like one week, maybe you don't like it and we go on with somebody else. That's totally fine, right? We wanna make sure that that opportunity is there for you all to uh, try these things out if you do want that uh, to kind of get your toes a little bit wet in that sort of a thing. So if you are interested, again, fill out that form uh, and let us know. Uh, of course, as a reminder, um, Buckeye Val is Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Buckeye Rel is Wednesdays at 8 p.m. And Buckeye Lowell is Sundays at 8 p.m. Um, it's my understanding, by the way, I'm gonna leak it. I'm, not, I'm probably not supposed to leak it, but it's my understanding that the hours on Sunday nights at Lincoln are going to change slightly. Uh, so if you are interested in playing your Buckeye Lowell match, you might be able to do that in the future. However, don't count on that uh, to play at Lincoln Arena. Uh, there are 60 messages in the Zoom chat right now. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm still not going to pay attention to you. Um, <laughs> I'll, we'll, we'll do questions and answers uh, a little bit later. Um, all right. I think I've talked enough, installed enough. So, so those of you that have wanted to take a look at the QR code have done that. Uh, and now for the next three slides, I'm going to have Caleb come up and talk a little bit about a handful of other events that we've got planned in the future. All right, so first and foremost, we have an Asian American Association collaboration. It's also going to be an FPS LAN. Um, it's gonna be a hangout. There's going to, we are predicting quite a number of people that's going to show up. Um, it's going to have some cultural games available. Um, also some of our games like Smash, maybe some party games, but most likely just an FPS tournament. Um, it's to raise money for um, AAA and BGC by competing in a Valorant 2v2 event, a Smash tournament, and more. Um, info and signups are going to be there. Make sure to bring some money. Um, not a whole lot. We're not going to be charging you that much, but um, we are going to be doing ticketing for some of the events. You can also show up and play the games for free. Absolutely available. But um, if you wanted to help us raise some money, we're, all, we're asking $15 max for the tickets. Um, but like I said, you can always come and play for free. It's most likely going to be at Game Arena. Um, actually, it is going to be at Game Arena, and that's going to be October 8th, which is a Friday. I'll give you guys a second if you want to fill that out. If not, okay. Also, Game Arena, Game Arena Gateway is cool. By the way, that is not the one at Lincoln. That's the one on uh, Gateway uh, down kind of past, what is it, past Barnes & Noble? Yeah, yeah, it's just a little bit past Barnes and Noble. So for those of you who are adults, it is also a bar. There's a bus stop right there. If you're going to be walking there, please bring somebody with you. Also, the fries are really, really good. Got you. All right, so another really big event we have coming up is Virtual Day of Play or hybrid day of play is what it's going to be. Um, it's a collaboration with Buckeyethon. We did it last year, it was all virtual. This year, it's going to be a little bit of both. Um, we're gonna have lots of tournaments. There's gonna be activities, laser tag, board game, 
uh, foosball, I guess, and um, a lot of our also regular played games. It's going to be in the Ohio Union Performance Hall and Great Hall meeting room. And more info is gonna come on that as we continue to grow and plan the day of play. But it is 12 hour game stream. All donations are going to Nationwide Children's Hospital. Um, so please, that is a huge event. Um, so please come if you can. Obviously you don't have to stay for 12 whole hours, but. And some more upcoming events uh, we have October 2nd, we have our Smash by Weekly. It's about 4 to 5 p.m. start. It's going to be in the Union Cartoon Room 1. The AAA Collaboration event, Day of Play. Um, and then on the 30th, we have another Smash Bros. tournament. Also, Halloween Social. Oh, we have a question. Go hit me. Um, the Smash Bros. tournament on the 2nd, the Smash keeps up for that. And then doors open at 3.30. The tournament will start at 4.30. Um, and then the Smash Bros. So for those of you who didn't hear, um, the Smash Bros. tournament Doors are going to open at 3.30, and the uh, smash.gg is open for that. And then Halloween Social, that is going to be a fun one. That is going to be at the Lincoln Esports Arena and online. Please dress up. We love to get pictures of people in costumes, um, which we will use for advertising. TM. Um, then on the 25th is our next general body meeting. It's going to be at 9.30, even later than this one. And it's going to be at Hitchcock, this room, and on Zoom. And I think that's it for me. Yep. Sweet. Um, hang on, I'll go back to last one because I don't want you doing the attendance form yet. A um, couple of other things here. Um, worth noting that Smash Bros tournament is in a different room than what it normally is. That is not in the uh, Great Hall meeting room uh, as per normal. Uh, the Halloween social, we'll have more information coming out soon. A lot of these things, you guys probably know the drill by now. We're going to ping you a bunch in the Discord server. Um, we'll send out an email. We'll send out a lot more information to you uh, about all of these things that are happening. Uh, so you'll have full information on a lot of these things. Uh, this is kind of just you know to get you an overview of what's going on uh, and put some of these dates on your calendar. Uh, also, the reason there's a pumpkin there is because we actually, it might be on the 30th, it might be on the 31st. Uh, we, we don't really know. I had an argument with Ben about that earlier today. Um, so we'll, we'll get that figured out and we'll get that back to you. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, it's not in chronological order completely because I was lazy and didn't want to change the red text to the one above, uh, for the general body meeting. So there it is. Your calendar is out of order. Uh, you're welcome. This is the attendance form. You should fill out the attendance form while you're here. That means I should see everyone in the room, pull out their phones. Uh, and that is totally fine. As a matter of fact, I should probably fill out the attendance form myself. Um, or I'll just do it later. But if any of you have any other questions as well, uh, now is the time. Now is the part where I will actually open up the chat here. Um, and I will take care of that. Uh, Smash Tournament does not require Nintendo Online. So for reference for the day of play specifically, uh, the Smash Brothers Tournament is going to be in person. The um, League of Legends 1v1 and the Rocket League 2v2 events will be online. That is an important distinction and we'll be making sure that that is clear as we get closer and closer to the event, um, just because that's kind of the easiest way to do both of those events. So that is fine. Um, yeah, right. We're not gonna, we're not really gonna have, uh, stations there in the room for you to play, uh, some of these games. Um, Anthony, uh, when you get a chance, go back and take a look at the recording. Um, and you'll be able to go back for the caster form as well, or that's for a virtual day of play as well. Um, yeah. Send a DM to, uh, probably Deepesh the Discord server, you can find him with a green name uh, and he'll get you taken care of there. Hopefully I didn't make the questions too hard this time around gamers. I know a lot of you were like, hey, I wasn't expecting to get a mini test at the end of the, uh, on the attendance form. Um, so hopefully that isn't too terribly difficult for you. Does anyone have any questions? Because I see none in the room. Oh my God, well. Oh. We'll just ask when day of play was. Come on. Yeah, it's not that hard. I promise. 
it's logical. Um, Esports arena at, oh, so Kukor is just gonna go ahead and spoil it. All right, that's fine. There you go. Um, Kukor, you also did a very poor job of labeling AM and PM. That looks like, it looks like this is the updated hours. So weekdays is 1.30 to 11. Thursday, Friday is open to one. And Sunday closes at 10, which is two hours after when it normally does. Why am I so handsome? I don't know. That's kind of a matter of opinion, isn't it? What am I going to dress up for as Halloween? <laughs> Sorry. Um, I, so I kind of cheap out uh, and I go, I put some tape on my glasses and wear a button down and I'm a nerd. Um, that is my Halloween costume. I know it's lame. I'm not creative. And that's the way it is. Um, probably. We did two years ago. They make official Among Us costumes? Absolutely not. There is no shot that you're going to catch me wearing an Among Us costume. Okay? That's not happening. There is zero chance of that happening. They sell them at Target. No shot. Yeah, I think they're in No, I don't know. Don't, <laughs> don't. Just don't. You sure? No. Yes, I'm sure. Um, so today, instead of doing Jackbox, I don't know if any of the other eboard actually brought their switch controls like we talked about in the eboard meeting. Way to go, Will. Um, well, Noah did. So at the very least, we do four player Smash Brothers on the big screen here. Sorry to those of you that are online. Uh, next month, I had this idea float by, I think it was my brother. Shout out to my brother sitting in the third row. Um, what? Mine's got clear stuff to come back. Um, um, we might try to do like a Kahoot that's like general BGC trivia or video game trivia or whatever. Uh, so if you're interested in that sort of a thing, when I send out the reminder pings for, hey, there's a general body meeting happening next week, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably include a Google form that's like, what questions do you want to ask? Or like, think of one question and we'll kind of crowdsource it. Um, so you all can um, submit questions and we'll kind of do like a crowdsource to who, that might be fun about in general. Uh, who did you say talk to about casting? Deepesh in the Discord. Deepesh, what's your uh, Discord username? What is it? Brodo Baggins. That's that's the handle in the Discord server. Um, and that is who to message about casting stuff in general. It might be worth clarifying whether you're talking about Buckeye League stuff, whether you're talking about general stuff because you are playing in Buckeye Leagues, whatever the case is. Uh, I didn't hear some Kahoot music. Yeah, all right, next month, everybody. Um, so Noah, you're just gonna make me set this up? 